I think a good teacher, first and foremost, gets some type of a gauge on who his students are. And everyone's needs are different. And I think that when students know that you care and they don't have to be afraid to approach you, then I think that you can meet their individual needs a little bit more succinctly. I feel very much like the students that I teach, they're not the students, they're my students. So I really take a personal interest in them as individuals. And you know, if that in any way makes me special, I don't know, but it feels like a very special calling to have that type of responsibility. And I take that responsibility very seriously. I think that being a black male teacher is uh, particularly a responsibility of being a role model when you walk into a classroom. You know, I grew up, you know, West Philadelphia, born and raised, as they say. And I went to Masterman, and I went to Overbrook High School. And I grew up, you know, in a neighborhood which had issues and problems, you know. But my mother always challenged us, you know, we might live in the hood, but we didn't have to be of the hood or from the hood. So it was very important for her to make sure that her children knew how to speak standard English, how to present themselves as gentlemen. And, and I think that um, for a lot of students, white and black, I think that it is an equal amount of enlightenment for them to just see a black man when they walk into the room. And it's really hard to gauge depending upon what people's social um, environment is like, but I do know that I have great relationships with all of my students. Um, you know, outside of school, I have a whole nother life. You know, I'm a musician. I am a singer and a songwriter. I've been performing for years. I've written songs that teachers use in the classroom about Kwanzaa. I made a music video about black history that my students continue to play on YouTube and come to school and say, ah, I saw you on YouTube. And, um, and I'm also a dad. You know, I have um, two beautiful sons and a beautiful daughter. And um, so that has also um, shaped my sense of responsibility. And the closeness that we all have is um, part of the blessing of my life. With a sincere heart, I want to thank the Lindbach Foundation for considering me for this great award and honor. I'm truly humbled and grateful, and I will carry this moment and this experience with me for the rest of my life. Thank you so, so much.